This is a Topcon SL2G slit lamp. And the main electrical components are the power supply, the LED control PCB, and the LED unit. And if you're having issues with nothing coming on or the LEDs not working, it's, it's probably one of these three things. Now you can check your you can check your power supply with a meter and these are supposed to put out 15 volts DC. So you can put your meter on volt DC Plug it in, the hot is going to be on the inside. And we're rating 14.99 volt DC. So you know if you're getting 15 volts out of here your power supply is good. Now, I've taken this off the bottom with which which is held on by an Allen screw and it also has the LED plugged into it. But I've taken this off for now. And this comes off with two screws two Phillips head screws. But if you were to take this off, when you apply power to this PC PCB board, the the external LED should turn amber, yellow. And that's regardless of whether you have the LED plugged in or not. So if you're not getting any light, it doesn't matter if, if this is bad or not, then it's very possible that this board is bad. When you turn the rheostat on, it's going to turn green and it's going to power your LED. Now, if this were plugged in, if, if this were green coming on and you still weren't getting any light, well, it's very possible that this LED it's burned out and if you happen to have an LED you could test it to verify by touching the two terminals where the plug would be plugged into it. The plus is going to be on this side and if you don't know which one is which it's okay you can just turn your LED one way or the other and see if you can match up the polarity to get it locked, to get it to work. So this is an LED and I'm just going to touch the two terminals where the, the wire will be plugging into it and we'll see if it comes on. So, if your LED was not coming on to verify that it's this, if you had an extra LED, you could just put it on and test it to see if, if it would come on 
when you have the rear stat on. But if your LED is working, then it should be coming on with the rear stat when the rear stat is turned on. So those are the components of the Topcon SL2G. If it's not coming on at all, check your voltage of your power supply. Make sure it's plugged in all the way. You should hear a click. And if you have power going to it, this external LED indicator should light up. So there's telltale signs. If that doesn't come on, it could be your board. If you know you're getting power, and if it's still not lighting up, it could be your LED itself. So here are the here's the diagram. This is your it's called a LED control PCB. And that is one unit held in by three screws. And if it and if your LED was not coming on and this was good, then this would be the part. Number 44. Uh, if you wanted to get the whole the whole thing you could, but and you might have to, but I don't know. If you can just get the LED and that's all the parts you would need. And here are the part numbers. If your control PCB board is bad, that's the number. And if your LED is bad, that's the number. So I hope this can help you out to diagnose your 2G not coming on. I probably should have showed you this earlier, but if you don't know how to take this apart, if you turn it over to the side and get an Allen wrench to loosen that screw, take it out, and you can pull this off, and you can either Pull the plug out so carefully with some needle nose pliers. And then if you needed to take off the LED to look in it, check it out. It's just two Phillips. take them both out so you can see what's happening when you plug it in. And just to show you that this LED has a wire going to it and it has a plug and and there's a hole in this disc that's wide enough for that plug to go in. So if you buy this little LED. It's got two screws. You'll, you'll be able to stick the, pl the plug through the disc and plug it in that way. It should come with the wires already soldered on there. And then when it's time to put it back on, this is the front. Now there's a little bit of wiggle room here. You may have to look through at your target what's in, once it's on and see if you need to adjust this disc a little bit to get a, a better light. Maybe, maybe not. Put that on. Put 
put this back on. And that's it. The AC adapter for the 2G is this number, 44628. Six zero zero one zero. And that's the LED control PCB. And that's the number of the LED unit itself.